Hi there summoners, Guardian E here with another summon video in Fire Emblem Heroes, and we are going to be summoning on the new hero banner for this month featuring Attuned Ivy and Rearmed Hortensia. There is of course also Kagetsu as well as Rosado on the banner, but our primary targets for today are going to be the two limited units, the Attuned and the Rearmed, uh, and primarily Ivy, uh, primarily I Attuned Ivy, so... Um, I was waffling back and forth on whether or not to summon on this one, but I did, I just kind of caved here at the last minute, so we're just going to go in. We've got our tickets lined up. Let's go ahead and pull. So we are going to be targeting blue and colorless, and we are going to pull on all blue and colorless that are available and see just how we do. Hopefully we do, hopefully we do pretty well. It's been a while since we've done sort of a big, uh, a big summon session outside of poverty pulls, mostly because we've been in kind of hardcore saving mode, um, ever since Legendary Camilla hit and kind of de devastated our orb reserves, so we've been trying to recuperate ever since then. Um, but I figure this is a really high value banner. I like the characters on it. The skill value is really great too. Um, and even if we go to the spark, I will have a relatively healthy number of orbs still uh, going into a Hero Rises and, you know, all of the other future banners, so... All right, so no no first circle luck, unfortunately, but we're going to get into the tickets now. We're still in the whole discounted pulls, so there's still a chance that we could get something something decent out of these tickets, out of these free and discounted summons. Ah, that's going to be Priscilla. All right. So pretty exciting that we are getting a rearmed flying cleric, Hortensia. Um does have a lot to offer. She's got some some great stuff as far as her, her kit is concerned, but not only that, it's also her special, uh, as well as her staff that, of course, is inheritable. So, we, we are getting a bunch of colorless here. That much is nice, I guess. Even that one green stone is pretty tempting because it is the last stone in the circle. Hey, we're getting Etie, so a little, little, little engage action here. Maybe she'll coax out some other representatives from her title, maybe. Hopefully. Uh, nope, that's going to be a three-star Maria. Yeah, and getting a full engage banner, too, is, is kind of nice. I feel like we haven't... Uh, it doesn't feel like we've gotten one of those in a, in a long time of new heroes. Ivy, of course, has an alternate version in the game already. Uh, but um, she is getting her original incarnation, but of course as a an attuned hero as it were. Does have that new uh, catch four skill, which is quite powerful, <laughs> quite potent. So do I do I pull on Rosado? I mean, we may as well. It's only three orbs. It gets us closer to the spark. And Rosado is still very good. So if we, uh, we're going to get a three star anyway, though. <laughs> going to be Sheena. All right. So not terribly eventful. Next ticket in. Let's see. Wow. Okay. I, again, lots of colorless, not a ton of blue. And let's see. Let's see if we can get our colorful princess. Nope, that's going to be a Kaze. All right. Maybe uh maybe the top of the circle. Top of the circle for I don't know. <laughs> uh no, oh god, Brady. Come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Okay. Last ticket. It's the last chance as far as the, uh, you know, the discounted pulls go. And it's going to be a three-star. La Rochelle. Okay. And it's a bit of a shame. All right. So now we're going, going in raw with the orbs here. See how brutal of a ride this is going to be. Like I said, pretty high value, even if these units do come back on like a rearmed slash attuned banner in the future, uh, getting additional copies of them would not be a bad thing, so... The fact that they're also not in the regular pool afterwards... Again, kind of grease the wheels to my decision to actually spend some orbs. Let's hope that I don't gravely regret that decision. <laughs> okay, oh, that's Norn. Okay. 
see if we have a little bit more luck on the blue side of this circle. No, it's going to be a three star. Yikes, May. May, May, May. Okay. Well, I must say, at least we haven't gotten any circle. I, I mean, it's nice when you're you have two target circle target colors. It's less of a chance of you getting uh, a circle without any possible options. So, I guess that's something. Okay. Another three star, Benny. I don't know when the Hero Rises voting gauntlet is going to start. That'll be an interesting one. I am, uh, yeah, that, that, that's going to be, I'm curious how that one's going <laughs> to, that one's going to play out. It's always a little, it's always a little risky. The voting gauntlet in and of itself is inherently, there's inherently like a random element to it, which makes it always a little bit scary. You can't actually, I mean, you sort of can, but you can't really coordinate as a community. So it makes it difficult. We've been getting a lot of three stars. I'm just saying a lot of three stars here. Not very nice. I mean, at least, I guess they're not dragging out my hope. <laughs> if it's a four star, then at least they're giving me then false hope and then, uh, <laughs> and then dashing my dreams. But if, we, if it's just a three star, then out of the gate, we can immediately, uh, uh, we can immediately rule it out of us getting, wow, these three stars though, get out of here. I do feel like they could, I mean, you know, we're so many years in at this point, I feel like they could revamp the summoning animation a little bit. But, oh my god, these three stars, Jesus. Okay, well, I know what kind of day it's going to be, apparently. Dang. That doesn't feel good. Oh, full circle. <laughs> full circle. Uh-oh. A oh, full circle of three stars, I guess. Oh, is that my first Laurent? That must be my first Laurent, because it, it didn't let me skip the uh, the animation. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. Go ahead and lock him in. Might as well. Huh. That's a nice surprise. Hey, we got it. We're walking away with a new unit, right? <laughs> At the very least. So that's something. Oh, come on, Lena. Okay, we're dipping below 500. 500. Below 500 orbs. We have been diligently scrapping and saving and hoarding and <sighs> they're so... Th Alright, well the colorless ended up failing us. Let's see if the blue can deliver in this full circle of target colors. Nope, it's gonna be three stars galore. Rochea! Oh... Uh, can we get another three star? Is that the way things are going to be? It sure is. Look at that. Oh, Subaki. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. Well. It's fine. We're just saving our luck. Saving our luck for when it matters, right? So let's go into this colorless stone. Another three star. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Let's go into the blues at this point. Okay, thank- I feel like this is the first four-star we've gotten in, like, forever. Oh, Matilda. I wish we- why haven't we gotten a Matilda alt yet? I feel like there's a lot of Valentia that could, would warrant, like, an alternate version, and we've just never seen them. It's always just Celica and Alm. Yeah. But there's a lot of that. I mean, there's a lot of that in this game, obviously, where, um... The selection of alts does generally, you know, lean towards the more popular characters, and, and it totally makes sense, but I feel like there are popular characters that are also not represented. So... Okay. Well, at least we got a four-star there. <laughs> maybe, maybe things are turning around in the last half of the, uh, of the Weight of the Spark. Yikes! What is this? Alright, back out. Okay, we've got seven summons left, no focus units at all. It's just the way it goes sometimes. What a what a what a welcome back to to summoning Matilda. 
Yeah, like I said, I, I, I do have a pretty healthy number of orbs, because I really haven't summoned on anything since December, more or less. At least not in, like, any significant way, so... Yikes, Nana too. We're getting all the clerics. Alright, we are getting all the clerics, apparently. Uh, let's get another one. Let's add another one to the mix. How about that? Come on. Okay. Let's see some magic, please. <laughs> Sakura. Sakura did appear in Hortensia's uh, Forging Bonds. So we are at 4.75%. It's actually a relative... It's a pretty high percentage, actually. We haven't gotten a single 5-star this whole time. It's actually relatively brutal. Um, as far as... As far as an outcome goes, it's not good. I mean, even after we spark, I feel like I... I don't like... I wouldn't like... Oh! Okay, that <laughs> threw me off. The outfit threw me off. I mean, I wouldn't want to keep going after the spark, but... I mean, with this percentage, I feel like... I feel like I should just try to break it. I don't... I mean, I don't know. I know that's... It's a foolish thought, but I don't know. Part of me wants. To oh wait, okay, there we go. We're getting Hortensia, little charmer. Actually, basically right on time, right? This was the 40th pull, and we did get her. It's me, the second princess of Elusia, Hortensia. Hello, Asker. Okay, there we are. So here she is, minus speed. You hate to see that. Plus HP. Okay. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Do we actually pull for Rosado? I... Maybe I should with the percent that we have, but I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. Um, oh wait! Oh, I should've! I didn't realize that that was... Uh, we were one away. Whoops. Um, I mean, I guess I should just pull on all of the blues and colorless still, even though we did get Hortensia. Uh, well... I guess, uh... Or should I? I mean, it's eight orbs. I'd be spending eight orbs. I don't have any real additional pity. But our, I gotta say, our, our pulls have been pretty bad this whole time, so... I don't know. I mean, m m maybe we're due... Oh, okay, alright. That's, that's interesting. Duo Ephraim and Leon. Uh, I guess that's something. It's not nothing. <laughs> it's not nothing. Plus speed minus attack. All right, and then we'll uh, we'll finish things off with this last colorless stone. See if we can squeak away with something else before we move on. Nope, I'm gonna be three star. Gordon. Gordon. Oh, Gordon. All right. Well, here is our free summon. You all already know who we're gonna be picking up, and that is, of course, going to be the Ivy. Let's get us that Snow Queen. Boom. There we go. And... Voila. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So. I am Ivy, Crown Princess of Elusia, here to answer your call and fulfill my duty. Is the Divine Dragon here? <laughs> so I, I have, uh... I do like the interactions with Ivy and, uh... and female Alir in the whole Forging Bonds. It's, it's quite cute. Completely neutral, of course, and uh, we get that Soaring Echo, as well as uh, some other goodies in her kit, of course. She's got Obsession, her own thing, but Trace 4 skill, quite nice. Deadly Miasma as well, so, of course, really beautiful art by Kagage. They always do an amazing job. Gorgeous use of colors, the design of Ivy, of course, impeccable. That brilliant explosion effect of the special and the damaged art. <laughs> She looks damn good, beautiful, beautiful art, worth the pulls alone, so happy to have her, definitely happy to have her. Alright, well I'm gonna say that that's a success, a begrudgingly a success, because we did end up getting both of the targets, It uh, they kind of strung us along for a while there, but you know what, it could be worse, right? And if it can be worse, then... You know what, I'll walk away without, uh, I'll walk away grateful, how about that? Uh, so let me know in the comments below if you decided to summon for Attuned Ivy and Rearmed Hortensia. Wish you the best of luck on your pulls, hope you got all of the copies and, and uh, uh, characters that you really were looking for. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, if you did please feel free to leave us a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us, we really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those skies.